This is my 2022 Subaru WRX, and for some time now, I've been wondering how does the VB, that's the 2022 Plus WRX, do while driving on dirt and gravel roads? And in today's video, we are gonna go find some dirt roads, and we're gonna put this car through a fair bit of testing. We're not gonna go full rally driving here, but we're gonna do some pulls, we're gonna do some start and stop, some braking, some tight turns, we're basically gonna push what you would do on a general road on some dirt roads that are pretty much dirt mixed with gravel. I'm gonna see what I can find and we'll do some like some speedy stuff, get the car going and see how it does and do just a bunch of testing. So if you're curious on how this car is gonna perform on dirt, moving pretty quickly, take a watch in the video. We're gonna do some, it's mostly gonna be driving video, but we're gonna get the GoPro on the exterior of the car too, so you can see it in action. It should be a fun video. If you wanna see how it performs, stay tuned, but otherwise, I will see you guys in the car. All right, guys, we're almost uh, at the dirt road where we're gonna be testing the car. Um, again, we're gonna do some exterior shots and video while we're doing this, so you guys can get an idea of the type of dirt and gravel that I'm gonna be on. But this is fairly loose gravel, so we're really going for it here. So. I would say that obviously dirt roads are on multiple levels and stages. We're, we're really going for dirt here that like at, at 30 or 40 miles an hour, you're, you're fairly dangerous. So we're really gonna be pushing what this all wheel drive you know, car can do, how it performs, how it spins, how the brakes work, how turns work. We're gonna give it a little bit here and just see what happens. Um, but again, I just wanna emphasize, it's a pretty loose gravel road and there are definitely scenarios here where we're gonna be in first gear going over some varying levels of bumps and inclines, also something that's gonna happen at a slower speed, just to also see how the body flexes, how comfortable it is. So we're just gonna see how it performs, you know, not on a full off-roading stance, but if you were gonna kinda go for that, you know, like this isn't mudding or anything like this. This is truly like as close as it gets to a non-drivable road, essentially. And I've, I've spent some time looking for this so uh, here we go. Give me one second. We're going to pull in and get this video going. All right, here we go. All right. So we're going to basically just do some loops here. We're going to start with the slower stuff to see how it goes. So basically the road that we're right on, we're on right now, and it's going to be a little sunny, guys, so I do apologize, is, you know, there are some, obviously some big water channeling that we're going to be going through here. So I can't tell if you guys can tell, but we are we are moving around. So I will say this car does not flex very well. You know, I've, I've done my fair share of off-roading with trucks and stuff. This is a rigid car. You know, I gotta, I gotta be a little awkward here, guys, for the video, because I gotta see the depth of some of these um, poles that we're going through. Yeah, the car is very rigid. I mean, we're gonna push it, don't worry, but I wanna get this stuff first, because this is the stuff that's probably more important. It is a super sunny day, so I apologize, guys. So we're gonna go fairly quickly here over this deep stuff. Again, I just have to be kind of aware because we're very much pushing the stock suspension height here and what we can do. So we're on like truly loose gravel right now. This is as loose as it gets. Um, and we're gonna take, it's gonna be a little bumpy here. Let's see how this car does. Ooh, it's a tight suspension. We're spinning, we're spinning, we're spinning, we're spinning. We're back on. It's doing pretty well. We're at 25 miles an hour. We were just like in constant spin there. We're gonna take a really tight turn here. All right, we're taking a really tight turn. I don't wanna lose the wheels. Uh, we kicked the back a little bit there. We kicked the back a little bit, but we're good. No ABS lights. All right, so we're on like loose gravel right now. We're gonna get up into third. We're going about 30, 33 miles an hour, give or take my wheels are oversized. You know, and we're a bit of a straightaway here. While you're going straight, it feels really secure. I feel really secure right now. You know, I wouldn't take my hands off the steering wheel. There is some pull as we go over different heights. That's normal with an all-wheel drive system. I'm gonna give it a little bit of side to side and see if we take out. Um, we have pretty good side to side. I mean, I'm definitely, I can feel the car wanting to, um, wanting to kick a little bit. So that's definitely interesting. But so far, so good. I mean, it's, uh, I, I think my biggest negative right now is I don't want to know what the exterior of the car is going to look like. It's bumpy. Don't get me wrong. This is a stiff ride. This is extremely stiff. Oop, here we go. Big bumps. I hit that too fast. I wouldn't go this fast into some of these big bumps. That's what I'm learning right now. 
I feel fairly locked in here. I would say the biggest concern right now is there's not a huge cloud behind me. So my big concern right this second, oh man, this is a, this is a tough turn. All right, we're hitting a turn here really quickly. Let's give it a little space. I'm definitely, okay, I'm spinning, I'm spinning, I'm spinning. You know, I spun the entire time there and it still maintained pretty good turning radius. I didn't feel like I was completely losing control. Um, that's impressive. I'm truly impressed by that. I would say my big concern right now is that there's not a massive plume of dust behind me, which means most of that dust has to be staying in my wheel wells. I don't love that. Let's again do some side to side here. It's, it's pretty good. I'm definitely sliding a little bit. I feel like I'm skiing down the hill here. I'm, oh, I'm definitely sliding. Um, it's not bad. I mean, I'm in summer tires, which uh, is probably, you probably would want all seasons or maybe even snows or some type of all trains. Let's take a tight turn here. Whoop. <laughs> we lost the back a little bit there. I mean, it's pretty good. You know, I know I'm just like giving you guys a feedback loop, but I'm really putting this car through something. Ooh, very tight suspension. I mean, it's doing pretty good. I'm pretty impressed. I mean, I didn't think I was ever gonna do this with this car, but uh, I mean, is it a car that you wanna take out and do this every single time you go out? No, it's very tight. The suspension's very tight. It's the type of car that, like if I hit a big enough divot and I lose contact with a wheel, the whole car lurches, you know, it's tight. Well guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I know that that was a, a different video. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm literally gonna get out of the car right now and start rigging up some of the exterior footage because we're gonna take it after the fact because I'm gonna push the car a little bit harder uh, for some of this exterior stuff so you could see the route that I was just taking. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, not a whole lot of scientific information here. A lot of just like how my feeling was as I pushed the car through the dirt. It handled pretty well, very much a tight suspension. I mean, I was, I was slipping and spinning for a good portion of the turns there. I felt, I didn't ever feel like I lost control of the car, which is pretty impressive. So, um, you know, I, it's again, I have, I've done a lot with the snow. If you watch the channel, I've done a lot of like snow drifting and stuff like that. It's very similar to being in well-packed snow, especially on a very, very loose gravel road. Um, so if you do want to take this car off-roading, I mean, look, th there's, there's a reason this is a rally car and it did very, very well, so I'm impressed.